ET Talk Radio. Thanks for tuning in to Backwoods Radio. This is Bobby. And the Duke. Coming up later in the show, Bobby's Hot Topic. Today's topic is roadkill. Deadly or delicious? Call in, let us know what you think. Meanwhile, here's Duke with today's top news stories. The Rancho Health Corporation has extended its quarantine to cover the entire Yelltown area. It's not yet known how many people have been affected by the unidentified viral infection. CEO Patrick Rancho spoke to BWET earlier. The outbreak is now securely contained, and we are providing Yelltown with truly world-class treatment. Meteorologica has issued a severe weather warning tonight. Wakey, wakey, sunshine. I just had a real interesting telephone call with the old chain of command. Turns out I didn't see what I thought I saw over in Yelltown. Guess I must have got confused, right? Because I thought I saw you and your RHC buddies murdering innocent people. Guess I need to get my eyes tested, eh? The thing is, I didn't get round to telling anyone I had one of you RHC goons in my basement. You've been here for a week now. I'm getting a little impatient. You want to tell me the truth? Welcome back to Unforeseen Incidents and welcome to the second chapter. Apparently we've been in this basement roped up for a week, which I'm pretty sure is torture, but well, let's see. I demand to see a lawyer. You don't get a lawyer. You ain't under arrest. My basement, my rules. I don't work for RHC. You gotta believe me. You expect me to buy that cockamamie disguise story? Think very carefully and give me something I can believe. I'm trying to find a cure for the disease. I know your cover story, kid. But what's in that canister, Pepto-Bismol? I can see I'm wasting my time here. I'm gonna have to terminate this interview. Wait, no! Ah! Gosh darn it, not the radio! Oh jeez, it's broken! Oh jeez, indeed. Are you just gonna leave me like this? Quit whining, I'll see to you once I get this radio working. You know, I, I could probably fix that radio. Just shut your yap a minute! Oh, darn it! It's probably the fuse. If the fuse box had tripped, the lights would be out. I mean, it's probably a fuse in the radio case. Just, just let me take a look at it. Hmm. You seemed real scared when that lightning struck. Well, I, I thought you were gonna shoot me. You screamed like a Girl Scout. That was a battle cry. Oh yeah? Tell you what. If your handyman story is true, fix my radio. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so let's check this out. Okay, I've never fixed a radio with someone pointing a gun at me before. Can we open this? Okay, I've never fixed a radio with someone pointing a gun at me before. Uh, let's get the screwdriver out. Okay, let's see. Ah, uh, blown views. I told you so. Well, fix it then if you're so smart. I'll see what I can do. Can we take the it fuse? Has a blown fuse? Doesn't look like it. Uh, leaf blow up. Seems hard to believe the Yelltown attack actually happened. I wish I'd had the chance to warn them. This is evidence. It belongs in, like, an evidence locker or something. Yep, I'm sure after a week of just standing in the cellar at room temperature, the pathogen is just fine. Can we, I guess we can check the rogue woman up. Can we, yeah, we can take the cigarette Aha, box. That's good. A clue. Wait. This isn't a clue, it's just a grody old cigarette box. Awesome. A box of Qatar Slims. It's empty, apart from this aluminum foil. Ooh. Aluminium foil, that sounds useful. Huh. I can bypass the broken fuse with the aluminum foil from the cigarette box. Let's see. Well, I'll be. You did it. Are you going to tie me to the thing again? Well... If your story's true, let's hear that radio signal you told me about. Um, the signal was pretty faint. I'm not sure your radio... 
I mean, I'll try. Well, it's actually pretty strong. Come on upstairs. I'll make some coffee. Ooh, coffee. Thanks for the coffee. It was great. My dad's blend. At least I could do after tying you up and all. My name's Aberrain Jervis. I'm the park ranger here in Greystone Woods National Park. A park? I thought you were some renegade cop. No, I'm a renegade park ranger. A whole lot worse. Well, I've wasted a lot of time. I have to go back to Yelltown. There's nothing to go back to. What those people did there. Hard to look at. I hope your friend and that professor made it out. I'm sure they made it. And I have to get that canister to Professor McBride. Listen, I won't let you go hitchhiking to nowhere with a plague canister in your fanny pack. For all I know, you're just an RHC goon who's a good liar. Well, looks like everybody else in the town is dead. Isn't that a shame? For all I know, you're an RHC goon. Here's the thing. I heard that signal of yours before. Breaking in on the car radio, on walkie-talkies, and the symbol on that canister. I've seen that before, too. Somewhere in Greystone Woods. You mean, is there an RHC camp here, too? Maybe. There have always been stories about people hiding out in the deep forest. I bet you dollars to donuts your signal is coming from right here in Greystone. Then we should call the cops. Who do you think I've been calling all week? They don't want to hear about Yelltown. Everything is under control. <sighs> <sighs> so I guess we look for the source of that signal? Wrong. You look for the source of that signal. I stay here and blow the kneecaps off any yellow suit tries to get this canister. Um, okay. Well, I guess I should be able to triangulate the signal. Triangulate? How's that work? I'll need a map and a portable radio. If I can pick up the signal from the two highest points in Greystone, I should be able to tell where it's coming from. Well, I can give you a map, so that's a start. Of course, we and have to do the, any questions about all the, the work. Area, sling them my way. Sounds good to me. Ooh, weapons. Look at all these weapons. Did Jervis grow up in the Hunger Games or something? People who put animal skulls on their walls. It sort of says, I'm not gonna kill you, but I could kill you. The door is locked. If you're missing your beam, I can tear you up again any time. Uh, no thanks. I'm good. Jervis is the type to keep her woodpile well stocked. I bet you could survive hold up in here for a month. Well, longer if I ate you. So, you just have all the latest gadgets, huh? I don't like it. I write up all my reports longhand. Let's check this out. Some grizzly park ranger. That's dad. Like, handsome grizzly. And an owl. The owls are not what they seem. Hey. Hey, how you getting along? So, let's let's check this out. Any idea where you saw the symbol from the canister? Carved into a tree, painted on a rock? No, no, I would have remembered that. It just feels very familiar, but I can't place it. Ah, that's not much to go on, but I'll keep an eye out. See you later. Goodbye. So let's check out the map. So we need the highest point. So here's Shack, here's a farm, apparently a diner. We have, okay, 5,862 feet. This one here is over 6,000. That looks good. Yeah, I should pick the two highest points. This isn't one of them. Oh, this, oh, this one here is even better. Yeah, this looks like one of the highest spots in Greystone. This one here, those are over 6,000. Is there a better one? Oh yeah, this one here. Okay, this should be one of the highest places I can get to. Awesome, let's go for it. And fast travel. Wait, do we even have a radio? We do not have a radio. Pretty That's not so helpful. Conservation sock. Okay, so that's only so helpful. Let's check out the farm. Without radio, no triangulation. Oops. Ooh. I shouldn't collect random plants in the forest. They could be poisonous or whatnot. They sure could be. A tall wooden barn-like structure. Its purpose unknown. 
The farmer's tractor looks in pretty good condition compared to that barn. Yeah, I mean, the lightning hasn't struck here, otherwise it looks especially similar to the A metal tower hotel. Silo. For storing grain, I guess. They shouldn't touch it without knowing what kind of plant it is. Okay, so no plant collecting right now. And look at that. Let's let's talk to this guy here. Hello. Yep. What are you doing there? Protecting my farm, stranger. Storm knocked out the power. Lights ain't working. Electric fence ain't working. What do you need to protect your farm from? Wolves, coyotes, snapping turtles, all manner of varmints and carnivorous critters. Uh, I don't see any critters around here right now. You want bears trampling your flower beds? Be my guest. I'm gonna defend my property. So, uh, did lightning actually strike your house? Came mighty close. Killed the power. And my cows near enough soil their britches. <laughs> your cows wear britches. Well. Oh, a radio. Nice Look radio. at this. Mm -hmm. Would you mind if I borrowed it? No can do, stranger. As long as I'm stuck here, that radio's my only entertainment. But I really need a radio. Well, I reckon we could come to some kind of arrangement here. An arrangement? I'm real hungry, but I gotta stay here. Fetch me something good to eat, and I'll lend you my radio. What do you want to eat? You been to the diner? Rhonda fixes a fine sandwich. If you fetch me one with hot sauce, I reckon I can spare the radio for a time. Got it. I'll be back with your vittle soon, partner. Hmm. Don't make me use this firearm, boy. So let's not back sass the farmer. And instead, let's get a sandwich. But before we do that, let's check out this area here. Unless that just leads back to the map, but it does not. Ooh. Huh, look at these little pepper pods. Hey, Neat. They smell good. Got some pepper here. We've got Wolves, the view. Bears, venomous snakes, poisonous insects. They're all out there waiting. Harwood Energy, discharge channel. Looks like the power company is channeling stormwater through this meadow. Yeah! Jesus! They should call that thing a scare harper. Looks pretty effective so, to me. This is how I die. An evil scarecrow. Good to know. Yeah! Jeez! They should call the. Okay, looks like we can't get over there. Not. Uh, because Sapo just doesn't want to jump over that little river, but that's okay. So let's go to. Uh, I'd hope we. Uh, of course, we can't just leave the map here. Actually, uh, we can. We just need to access our inventory map. Then we should be able to fast travel to. to the diner. No problem whatsoever. There we go. Greystone rest stop. Eat here and get gas. Hmm, <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> Gotta love that smell. <clears throat> in the dark, What's the smell of the petrol in the morning? That draws you in. In Yelltown, the gas station stays open all night. Stayed open all night. Well, now everybody's dead, probably. Unless they all got treated, which may or may not be the case. It's old, but it could still outrun Professor McBride's piece of crap car. I hope he and Hellowell got out safe. Let's... well, let's check out the trunk. It's locked. Okay. What do we have here? There's a billboard with that politician lady from the TV. Okay. Well... The sign for Rhonda's diner. The mosquitoes seem to like it. Okay, let's check out the actual diner. Let's get that sandwich. Hi there. Hi, honey. What can I get you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Question Woods. Let's Did ask her a couple Yelltown? of questions. Oh, it's awful, isn't it? Just to think of those poor folk. I just came from there last week. It was... Pretty bad. You were lucky to get out before the quarantine. At least you're safe now. I wouldn't be so sure. Something tells me it's gonna keep spreading. No, no, I don't allow that kind of talk in my diner, honey. It's all smiles at Rhonda's. What can you tell me about Ranger Jervis? 
Oh, you've met Colonel Jervis? Colonel Jervis? Colonel is what everyone around here calls her. It's just a nickname, but it really suits her, right? I'm sure glad we have her around. She really cares about protecting Greystone. How come everyone calls her Colonel Jervis? Well, that's what everyone called her father back when he was Park Ranger. He was in the military before joining the Park Service. Raised her pretty much single-handed. When she took over the job, she just sorta of took over the name too. She acts all mad when folk call her Colonel, but I reckon she likes it really. She's a bit of a dragon, isn't she? She's a good person, you know. She treats town folk a little rough, but that's how she gets the job done. You'll be glad she's out there when you slip into a gully and twist your leg, or run into a bear, or when you're birthing a calf in the snow and the veterinarian's drunk and dressed as Santa Claus. Okay, sorry. I'll keep that in mind next time I'm birthing a calf. Let's talk about something else. Yep, time to change the topic. Let's get the Did sandwich. I get me something to eat? Feels like I haven't eaten in a week. Well, you came to the right place. I make the best BLTs. Want to give one a try? Yeah, why not? You want sauce on that? What are the options? Classic tomato catsup, surprisingly mellow mustard, buffalo barbecue smoke, sweet lemon garlic mayonnaise, and super spicy chipotle lava. Okay, he wanted it hot, so let's go with the chipotle lava. Give me some super spicy chipotle lava. Oh, darn it, I forgot. We're out of super spicy chipotle lava. Could you pick another sauce? Okay, so this one's not available, so let's put the closest one. That's at least red, the classic tomato catsup. A classic tomato catsup, please. Classic tomato catsup it is. Thanks. All right. Mm, ooh, keys. <laughs> That's 490, please. Okie dokie. All right. Did that actually do anything? Let's, let's check trunk because it did, did sound like it did a remote open it. So here we have the sandwich. BLT with classic tomato ketchup. So let's make it spicy. I wonder if this makes the sauce a bit more like super spicy chipotle lava. It should. And there we go. Spicy sandwich. It's a painting of some big mountain with the sun behind it. Hey, wait a minute. The symbol from the virus canister is in the painting. Maybe this is why Ranger Jervis recognized it. Hmm, interesting. I think else we can check out kitchen. Let's look at that. Places like this give me a hankering for cherry pie. Coffee. Ah, uh, filling station coffee. And more symbols. This painting shows some trees in the forest. This painting also has the symbol on it. And this one here. A painting of some guy getting attacked by birds. This painting also has the symbol on it. Interesting, interesting. Also, how did that happen? Oh, never mind. What's up? I'm Harper. Just passing through Greystone Woods. Nelson Wiley. I guess I'm just passing through too. Cool uniform. I used to be a pizza delivery guy too. I'm not a pizza delivery guy. I work... Well, I worked up at the hydro power plant. Hmm, interesting. How come you don't work at the hydro plant anymore? I walked out. Really? Why? Well, to be honest, it's my co-worker. He has it in for me real bad. I just can't take it any longer. I admire your work-refusing spirit. You're a hero. <sighs> it's not that I don't want to work. Just with that guy carping at me every five seconds, it's too much. He's on his own. Hmm. What's wrong with your co-worker? Ah, oh, he's always beefing at me, calling me stupid, doofus, klutz. Whatever I do is wrong. He always knows better. Thinks he could do the job without me. Sounds like a bully. Remind me why your co-worker is such a bully. He's always criticizing me, calling me stupid, dimwit, doofus, klutz, telling me, go to hell, ragging on the stash. Not the stash. Not the stash. Yeah, let's ask a couple of other questions here. What did here. you do at the hydro plant? Monitor the system, watch the circuits, control the distribution systems, fish out the local teens when they go skinny dipping in the reservoir. It's not bad work, but it can get pretty intense after a thunderstorm. Good thing I'm down here, huh? Okay, so that seems to be it for now. Also, this this looks really weird in this Catch you later. Bye. You should not have your mouse open like that, but anyway... Let's get that sandwich to the farmer, but first, I'm going to check out the trunk. 
Let's see whether we actually managed to open that. Let's see what we can steal this time. I mean, it's only for the, for the greater good. <laughs> Oops. Ooh, wow. Strikely colorful looking cupcakes. Mouthwatering looking cupcakes. It's really delicious looking cup cupcakes. That's a lot of cupcakes. Base of the food pyramid. Those are some of the finest cupcakes I've ever seen in the trunk of a stranger's car. Jeez, I think a unicorn threw up. <laughs> okay, that was pretty funny. Anyway, looks like we can't do anything here yet, but we'll, we might get back to that later. Okay, time to get get the sandwich delivered. Hot and spicy sandwich. And I like how Harper just like, teleports into the middle of the field and then just walks a couple of steps. That's, that's a nice touch. Okay, let's get that sandwich delivered. Also nice yep. yellow rubber boots. Mm -hmm. Wet sack. Okay, so can't. Yeah, let's let's ask I this one here again. Heard about some strange occurrences in the forest? Have you noticed anything odd? Mm-hmm. There's yeah, something happening out there, sure enough. Okay. Did you also hear a weird noise? No, but I saw something. What did you see? Couldn't rightly say what it was. A few nights ago, I dropped into the diner for a beer and a little supper. It was a clear night, so I figured I'd walk home. Took a little shortcut through the forest, and then it came. This creature crashing out of the undergrowth. It was a, a beast like I, I had never saw before. Okay. Skunk ape. Isn't this one he's supposed to be in Florida? Bigfoot, Sasquatch. Aren't those the same? Well, I mean... They don't really exist anyway, at least there's no evidence, but whatever. Go with Sasquatch, I like just like the name. A Sasquatch? Look kinda like a small bear, but with these black, greasy claws, acrid stench, wild, staring eyes. I get off a couple rounds and it sky hoots off into the brush on all fours. Ooh, doggy! And it's how? Oh, a shrieking, blood curdling cry. Like he was throttling a fox. Intense, man. Intense indeed. Okay, let's ask about the electricity you definitely bill. Definitely paid your electricity bill then. A gentleman always pays his dues. Then <laughs> I guess you should call the power company. Reckon I will if the power don't come back on soon. Okay. Anyway. I better go. Mm -hmm. Let's get the sandwich delivered. Here, I got you one of Rhonda's BLTs with hot sauce. Ah, now that's what I call hot sauce. Thanks, son. You can take the radio. Thank you. A deal's a deal. Sure is. Now we've now we have our radio, so let's get to those peaks. Long John Peak. Oh, and the other one's called Sneak Peak. Huh. See what they did there. Got creative with the names, but that's okay because this is a humorous game. Also, herbs, small this branches. Is full of branches, leaves, and dirt. And they say I should sweep my place. All right, let's get the radio going. Because the signal is not great. It's a bit better. No. I guess that's as good as it gets, so let's go to the other peak then. And let's triangulate. Look at that, the sign. Greystone Woods Nature Walks. The sign has information about the Greystone wildlife. That's interesting, but why would that be at the topic of I guess this is a popular spot to be. Anyway. Let's align this as well. Okay, now it's getting a bit weaker. Or is it? Yeah, this is definitely weaker. Okay, I think this place is where the signal is strongest from both positions. This must be where the signal is coming from. Awesome. So, well, <laughs> this isn't quite where we left off, but it's probably good that they give you some room to wiggle around, so you don't have to be so precise. Okay, let's check it out. And see what we can find there. Okay, got the radio station here. Where the weird signal is coming from. What's going on here? That's a very good question. Ooh, fence post. Huh, that might come in handy. Oh crap, the tree is totally blocking the entrance. I guess you could climb over it, but I suppose it's blocking the actual door, not just blocking the path. This place was like Fort Knox. Someone really didn't want people getting in. The storm must have brought the tree down. Mm, 
getting to treat uh, that bit of trunk must weigh a couple tons at least. Well, looks like we need a, a lever. I can't do that. Okay, no, sure, sure about that. I don't think those things play nice together. Oh well, that's not good. Uh, let's see whether we can can get that moving. Otherwise, we'll never find out about this mysterious signal, un unless we go through a window, but I'm not quite sure whether that place even has windows. In any case, did we keep the radio? We did. I guess the deal's a deal, and we may as well keep it. Let's talk to the nameless farmer again. Hello. Yep. Mm-hmm, <laughs> yeah, that's what we want. Could your tractor move a really big tree? I reckon she could do just that. She's a beast. Could I borrow it for a little while? Are you conversant with the phrase, when hell freezes over? Mm, yes. You understand the import of that saying? You no. Know. No one but me drives that tractor. And I can't leave this porch till that pair of prairie oysters at the hydro plant get the power going. Where exactly is the hydro plant? It's up north, hard by Lake Delilah. And we found a new location. Would you tow the tree if I got your power back on? Well, sure. I reckon I'd be obliged to you. I ain't got a cable winch, though. You better get yourself one. Okay. You mentioned prairie oysters? The hydro plant is run by two brothers. Always a feuding and fighting. Yeah, I, I think I met one of them. Probably at each other's throats instead of fixing my power. Okay, so this doesn't seem go. to be anything we haven't talked about yet. So let's get to the power plant and fix the power. And the power plant only has two workers. Well, I guess it's night, so maybe maybe they're the only ones on night shift or so. Anyway, we've got a car I I here. Could just drive away, but I need to get that virus canister for Professor McBride. We sure do. Uh, I wouldn't mind whipping out the old multi-tool and finding out how all this stuff works. But I guess I'm supposed to save the world or something. Yep, well, let's do just that. There's Ooh, a packed. lot of pipes around here. Interesting, interesting, but let's check out. Huh, no door handle. Okay, can't do much here, can we? It looks like you have to type in a password or something to get in. Hmm. Okay, let's check out whether we can talk to the other brother again. Let's go to the diner. And maybe maybe he's going to come with a fix the power also. We shall see. I don't think there's anything we can really do here. Yeah, let's, let's just talk to the brother for now. A little bit of teleportation here. There we go. What's up? Nothing much. Hey, did you know there's a whole farm with no power? <laughs> Not getting along so well without me, eh, hey, Ed? Ed, I'm Harper. Edwin, my co-worker. Oh yeah, I remember. Sounds like a real bully. Yeah, well, if Ed's having trouble, that's music to my ears. <laughs> Maybe you should go back to work. No way. Do you know what his latest joke was? He actually changed my gate password to an insult. So he's there making we go. me insult myself before I even get through the gate. That's pretty darn low. It sure is. Okay, so these are just repeats. So let's go back to the hydro plants because that was the clue we needed. There we go. Let's try this again. Let's see whether we can just get in here. It looks rather fancy, very gray, but it's nighttime, so that's acceptable. So let's try Doofus. There are a couple of insults, but yeah, this works like an old, old cell phone. And. This one here is the one you need, but ultimately it's just a, just a matter of time until you find the right one. And there we go. What the? Who are you? How did you get in here? Harper Pendrel, handyman. I'm here to fix your power plant and whatnot. What? This is absurd. Did my dim-witted brother put you up to this? Your brother? Nelson. 
That idiot has gone too far. I'm sending some goon in here to annoy me. Wait, Nelson Wiley is your brother? We knew that. Oh, we did actually knew that. I knew it. He's my brother, all right. But he takes after the catastrophically dumb side of the family. You've had your fun. Now get out and let me work. Did you know there's a nearby farm with no power? Oh, there is, is there? And you thought you'd just swing by and tell me how to do my job. <laughs> the whole plant is under huge pressure because of that darn thunderstorm. Connections blown. Water flow off the charts. Monitoring the pipe system is more than enough work for one person. I can't deal with distribution, too. Distribution is meant to be Nelson's job. Oh, well. What's your problem with Nelson? My problem? You obviously don't have a brother who's a lazy, clumsy oaf. And that stupid mustache. He says you think you can do the job without him. You know what? I will do this without him. Better than having to clean up his messes all the time. Hmm, let's offer some help. Maybe I could help sort out distribution. Not in a million years! You think I'd let you stroll in here and operate sophisticated machinery? <laughs> I'd laugh if I wasn't mad as hell right now! Who's the elder brother? Who do you think? Well, you're the balder brother. <clears throat> I'm the older one. Knew Naturally. It. Okay, so let's ask about the door. Where does that door go? That's the control room, where my good-for-nothing brother ought to be fixing the distribution system. Why don't you go through there and fix the distribution system yourself? Why don't you go French kiss a rattlesnake? I'm busy. Maybe you should ask Nelson to come back to work. The klutz master general? Let's master you general. Favor, tell Nelson to go jump in the lake. Jeez. Nelson was not exaggerating when he told me you were mean. You'd be mean too if you were dealing with all this pressure, figuratively and literally. Okay, last option here. You and Nelson give Cain and Abel a run for their money. I didn't take you for a biblical scholar. Biblical scholar? Uh, I was talking about the pro wrestlers. I better get going. Good idea. Okay, we've exhausted that. So let's see. Ooh, got a little note here. What's this note? None of your business. Okay, anything else here? We've got the computer. This old computer looks like it's seen a lot of use. Ooh, coffee. Coffee. I guess they pull a lot of all-nighters here. Yep, I guess you've only two people, but oh well. And look at that. The tech in this room is so dated, I almost feel at home. Ooh, some levers. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, let's just play around here I a little bit. What happens if I pull this? All right. Hmm. Okay. Well, anyway, I think that's enough for today. Thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time, where we hopefully fix the electricity problem. We'll see about that. Thanks for watching, and see you then.